Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks so much for tuning in. And if you are one of my loyal subscribers, thank you for sticking with me on this journey. Uh, back in May on Memorial Day weekend, my one-year-old Remy ended up slipping in the bathtub as we were getting him out after a haircut. And he actually fractured his femur. Thankfully there was no surgery, but it did uh, leave him in a cast and a six week convalescent recovery period that was very, very trying. And that pretty much brought my YouTube channel to a screeching halt. That on top of it being summer and vacation and travel and all that kind of thing, I really haven't been able to get back into it until now because thankfully my five-year-old has started kindergarten and that's allowing me a little bit more time freedom. So with that being said, I am excited for my first video back in a while to introduce a new seasonal series that I am calling Rock the Crop. That was my husband doing that little intro. What Rock the Croc is going to be is basically a quarterly crockpot video that's going to involve some tried and true recipes and also some new recipes, but they will all basically coincide with a seasonal theme. So for instance, this quarter we're going into fall, so I have some fall themed you know, dessert and tailgate um, dishes and different things like that that I'm excited to share with you. So with that being said, let's get into the cooking and rock the crock. So when the weather starts to cool and you need a quick meal idea that helps you stay cozy, this taco soup is an excellent go-to. The main thing that you have to prep is the ground beef and then you have to chop up an onion, but beyond that you just throw those things along with the other ingredients into your crock pot and just let it simmer on low all day for about six or so hours and it will be warm and delicious for when your family comes home and you're all starving and ready to eat fast. I wanted to mention that all of these recipes will be linked in the description box below, but one way that I differed from this original recipe was that it called for all of the, or most of the ingredients to not be drained and to just add all of the liquid. I didn't like that, so with the exception of the diced tomatoes, I went ahead and drained everything, and then also I only added a portion of the taco seasoning just because that can be a little bit strong. You can always add more, but you can never take away, so just thought I'd mention that. When fall rolls around, I always start thinking of how can I use squash in my dinner recipes. And let me just tell you, this rosemary chicken and squash recipe did not disappoint. I have to give it a little extra accolade because out of all of these fall themed meals, this was definitely our favorite type of meal that's ready to go for a weeknight. already have the chicken layered on the bottom of the crock pot here and now I'm just piling on the chopped squash. The one change that I would make if I did this recipe again is that I would actually take the seasonings that I'm putting on here and I would put a little bit on the chicken layer and then I would put a little bit on the squash layer as well before I started adding my wet ingredients. But other than that, this was super delicious and really easy to make. You can see that I don't even need a knife to cut this chicken. I can just kind of rake through it with my fork. I don't have a true recipe for this dish, but I love this mojo seasoning. We're Cuban, so we grew up using this seasoning all the time. What I did here was I had a half empty bottle of this, so I just threw that over about three chicken breasts in my slow cooker. It only covered them about halfway, so I went ahead and flipped them over halfway through the cooking time, but they came out beautifully, and then I just stick my blender in there, shred them up, and they are perfect to make those uh, sammies for your you know, tailgate watch party or football watch party at your home. I used them to make two different kinds of sliders, an avocado slider and a coleslaw slider. So talk about easy. When the weather cools down and you're ready to have your first bonfire and maybe have a bunch of friends come over, a baked potato bar is the way to go. It is super simple and it feeds a crowd of people on the cheap. Here you can see I'm just getting my potatoes, poking holes in them, and then covering them in salt and oil, wrapping them in foil, and I'm gonna stick them in the crock pot to cook for a few hours, and that is it. 
when they're done cooking, just find your cute serving trays and look in your fridge and find whatever toppings you have to go on them. You could do cheese, sour cream, onions, maybe fry up some bacon or brown some ground beef and everyone can just add what they want. What says welcome fall more than a warm apple crisp? <laughs> it's like a hug for your tummy. Go ahead and when you start making this recipe, you wanna have a show or a podcast or something that's gonna keep you company because it does take a little bit. Between washing the apples, peeling them, and then chopping them, you're gonna be in your kitchen for a little bit, but I promise it is well worth it. So here's a quick tip. If you're like me and you forgot to have your butter soften on your counter for a while before starting this recipe, go ahead and just throw it in your microwave and you can just microwave it for between 10 and 20 seconds and that's gonna go ahead and get it soft enough for you because you do wanna have it softened for this recipe so you can make a nice crumbly mixture to go on top. forgot to add my paper towel to the top earlier and that just collects some of the moisture and that helps the top of the apple crisp be able to get a little bit more brown. All right, so are you inspired to rock your crock this fall? I hope so. Hopefully these recipe ideas will be a blessing to you and your family. And be sure to let me know in the comments below if you do end up hosting an occasion or using some of these. I'd love to know which ones you tried. So if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. You can hit the red uh, subscribe button below and then tap the bell to receive the weekly notifications. I post videos on different lifestyle tips and tricks, practical ways for you to work smarter, not harder in your day life. So I'd love for you to come along on that journey. So with that being said, until we meet back here next week, may the Lord bless and multiply your time. Bye.